30k subscriber special. Y'all ready for this Q&A? Let go. What's going on YouTube? So I actually ended up passing 30,000 subscribers on my birthday, which was May 11th. So that's pretty fucking cool, but it's time for another Q&A. And if I sound kind of off to you in this video, it's because I'm hungover as fuck. Yes, I did some heavy drinking last night. Drinking is bad for you people, don't do it. Unless you wanna have some fun, bitches, then drink up. I'm just saying. Let's go ahead and start with question number one. Who are you more defensive about? Lukaya or Korpanga? Definitely have to go with Lukaya on this one. Nowadays, Korpanga doesn't really need defending. Kurpanga is like the big brother or sister that can take care of themselves. While Lukaya is like the little sibling that you would shoot someone in between the eyes over. And they are still battling for that respect in this shipping game. Next question. Which shows do you recommend? Well, I would say The 100, but since they killed off one of the best characters of all time, I won't. I actually don't watch a lot of TV, believe it or not. I've only recently been trying to check out more TV shows. Now, if you're a Disney fan, I'd recommend that you check out the show Backstage. And Xena Warrior Princess is also one of my favorite shows of all time. It's kind of old now, but they are doing a reboot soon. But it is kind of hard for me to recommend shows when I don't really know what your taste is. Next question. Do you think the writers will notice your ongoing petition? Oh yeah. There's no doubt in my mind that they know it exists. You know, some people believe that just because someone is famous or in the entertainment industry that they don't notice things. And that couldn't be further from the truth. Trust me, they are people with computers just like everybody else. Next question. Do you think that Girl Meets World is reaching Boy Meets World's maturity level or no? Absolutely not. And it never will unless you sign that petition to move the show to Freeform. Sorry, I couldn't resist using that question as an excuse to plug this petition. Next question. Do you plan on making more videos on Backstage? I don't know, I mean, I have to think about it. I mean, I have gotten close to doing it a few times, but I mean, my hands are kind of full with the other content that I'm creating right now. I only have time to talk about shows that I really, really love. And I mean, I'm kind of waiting to see if the show kind of picks up a bit. I mean, I do like it, but it's not a show that I feel the absolute need to talk about right now. So will I make more videos about it in the future? Possibly. It all depends on if the show gets better or not. Next question. Ever thought that the plot twist might not be a triangle? What if it's about something else? It's not. The triangle is by far the biggest storyline that they have going on right now. And there's no way that they're gonna have Ski Lodge, an episode that's very known for being a heavy ship related episode in Boy Meets World, be something completely unrelated in Girl Meets World. It's not gonna happen. Despite what some nervous Ruka shippers might try to tell you. Next question. I'm a Ruka shipper. Is there any advice that you could give me to help me jump on the Lukaya ship? Because I'm starting to have doubts about Rukus. Just jump. Jump while you still have a chance. It's clear who the winning side is gonna be. And plus, we have way more fun in Lukaya Nation. We're a big family over here that looks out for one another. And if you're having doubts about your ship, chances are you don't ship them that hard to begin with. So why not give Lukaya a chance? Half-ass shipping a ship is pointless. And if you do see potential in Lukaya, give him a chance. What do you have to lose? And leave Rukus to sink like the abomination of a ship that it is. What is your least favorite Rukus moment? All of them. What do you think about Clark and Finn? Um, 
I did kind of like them at first, but I never like hardcore ship them or anything. I thought they had a few cute moments or whatever, and I really did like the love triangle that happened between them and Raven. But the fact that I barely even care that he died, that should give you an idea on how much I ship them. If you had to kill off any Girl Meets World character, even a background character, who would it be? Hey Farkle, you have five seconds to tell me why you should live. Because of Ryarko Smurf! And now for a couple of bonus questions. If you could only watch Girl Meets World or The 100, which would you pick? Hence, Klexa will be in game and Lukaya would be in game. I'm guessing you mean whichever show I pick, my favorite ship will be in game, which would be Lukaya and Klexa. And whichever show I don't pick, my ship wouldn't be in game. Guys, you know I love me some Lukaya. And if they don't end up being in game, I'm gonna rage out in the likes of probably which you have never seen before. But if you give me the choice to make Klexa in game over anybody else, I'm gonna pick Klexa. Because as much as I love Lukaya, nobody compares to Klexa for me. And I would do anything to see that ship come back alive. And for the last question, do I like Lexa or Clark more? Oh, wow. Are you really gonna make me answer this? I mean, why don't you just ask me to choose between my lungs and my kidneys? Because it would be a much easier choice. I'm just saying. I love both of these characters so much. And before Lexa came into the picture, Clark was by far my favorite character. But once Lexa came into the picture, my love for the show just completely took off. So I mean, if you put a gun to my head and force me to pick, I would probably have to go with Lexa, but Clark comes in a very, very, very close second place. But I'm done talking. Let me know what you guys thought about this episode of Smurfs Q&A in the comment section below. And also go ahead and leave your questions for the next episode of Smurfs Q&A in the comment section below. But if you guys enjoyed this video, you know what to do. But as always, until next time.